Ladies, 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 I am so happy to be bringing you another mini tutorial, one that people think is going to be so hard to do, and I'm here to tell you it's absolutely not. So you know that amazing little Snapchat code, you know, the picture with the ghost and your face in the middle or whatever you want in the middle? I'm going to show you literally how to customize this directly from your smartphone. Okay, this is gonna be so cool. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and download this little app right here, Photo Layers. That is my jam, okay? It's a fairly advanced app, but it's absolutely free. So go ahead, pause the video, stop the video, download this app. I'm gonna give you a disclaimer right now. I'm not sure if it's for iOS. I'm clearly using Android. <laughs> so um, iOS users, if I have to create a whole other tutorial for you guys and find something else that works, then trust me, I got your back. So, we're gonna open up photo layers, right? Now, I have already saved my snap code. You should already have your snap code saved to um, your phone, right? So, we're gonna go to where it says load a background image. Now, I already took a fairly basic, fairly not so appealing picture. And here it is, this is me. I was on the couch, I was like, let's just do this. Um, don't mind me, I'm looking rough, but that's okay. So, you know that your snap code image is in the traditional square, like the square that used to be used for Instagram. So, down here where it has the sizes, you're going to want to select the one one. So I'm gonna move this to right about here, right where my face is centered, and I'm just gonna hit done. So it's gonna load as the background image. Boom, now up here at the top, I'm gonna to hit add photo. I'm gonna to go to my gallery and I'm gonna to go to my downloaded images. And here is my snap code. Now here's where all the fun comes into play. We're gonna hit done. It's sized the way it needs to be sized. We're going to just this little arrow just gonna make sure it's the size it needs to be right there. Okay, perfect. Now, down here it says cut. We're gonna use cut. Now, down here you have these little options and I'm gonna hit auto, right? Auto and is that 25? I'm gonna keep it at 25. So this is big circle in the middle. What's gonna happen is it's going to start to erase parts of the image, right? And by erasing, it's gonna make those parts of the image transparent. So I'm going to guide it with the little red dot down here, and I'm just gonna circle around, lift my finger, circle around, lift my finger, and I'm just gonna continue to do this. This is just auto-deleting, which I think is um, an amazing idea to go ahead and do to get started so that you don't have to manually do all of it. It's, it's smart enough to know where the perimeters are for the things that you want to go ahead and delete. So I might even turn this up just a little bit so we can get this done a little bit quicker. Done, almost done. So I'm done using that. So I'm going to tap manual and I'm going to increase it to this and then I'm just going to guide this around and get all the little fuzzy spots I'm all around the perimeter. This is so simple to do, you guys, and I am so amazed at what you can actually do with this app. And I have had it downloaded for like the longest time, and I was only using it to put my logo on my images. But now I know that I can use this for so much more. So if you ever have like a picture or something that has a fairly um, blank background and you wanna crop yourself out of it so that you can use you know, that image of yourself as a PNG, you can actually do that with this, you see. I'm gonna lower this so I can go ahead and get the roundabout spots, like this, this. And it doesn't have to be extremely perfect. I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So, we got most of it. Okay, so then you're gonna hit done. So we're done. I'm going to ask you if you want to smooth out anything. And by smoothing, um, it's like, you know, you see, oh, snap, okay. So 
So if you did not literally get every little piece, that's okay. Um, you can just increase the smoothness and it's gonna smooth all of it out. So the ghost is completely transparent. We're gonna hit done and boom. Okay, well it's, uh, clearly that's not the best looking thing, but that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So we have that done and your image is still selected. So then you're gonna come down here, you're gonna hit color, right? And down here where it says hue, we're going to move that around. Check that out right there. So if you're able to like find your brand color, like I know mine is like right here. Um, boom. So that is how you can go ahead and use whatever image that you want as your your Snapchat image, as well as being able to change the Snapchat code color. Okay, amazing guys, doing this directly from your phone, no Photoshop needed, no online program, literally just your phone, okay? So, I'm Kiana Ote, personal branding coach and strategist. I show lady printers how to build and market their personal brands, especially the utilization of video and live streaming. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, which I know that you did, make sure that you like this video, you drop a comment, and you share it with all of your peeps, okay? Thank you so much for kicking it with me. I love you. Have a blessed one. Your peeps, okay? Thank you so much for kicking it with me. I love you. Have a blessed one.